morning guys uh, welcome back here we go I'm going to try um, <clears throat> the 100 day craft challenge again and I'm going to label this one day 7 and 8 because we did 6 projects yesterday I believe I've tucked them away um, so I'm just going to start it um, 7 and 8 today and then hopefully going forward I'll be on track <laughs> I don't know how. I've had a lot of people comment and say, oh, you know, it's it. they're not sure they could participate. And I'll be honest, I this has kept me from doing it in the past myself because when I commit to something, I don't want to, you know, back out of it. But I guess at some point you just got to jump in and just hope for the best. So here we are again. Um, <clears throat> these are more off cuts from, you know, the digital images. So... I thought it would just be kind of fun to play around <clears throat> and try to make something out of these that we can use um, without getting too stressed out. So I thought, I hate to do this big shot on here, but we'll do it again. I know it's, it's not ideal. I'm still trying to get my camera mount sorted. But one thing I thought would be kind of fun <clears throat> is I want to do some embossing on these this time. And luckily, these are all white, so um, I'm not going to really have to double these up. I'm just going to um, put a couple of these in <clears throat> and run them through. Because I just thought <clears throat> this might be kind of fun with a bit more texture in the background. And then we can... Oh, sorry. It's been a while. I've normally got my magnetic plate on here. So I'm not used to using this platform. Gosh, it's it's just so difficult to work in this space. Um, let me move this out of the way <clears throat> to do the next one. Let's see if I'm still in focus here. So I thought it'd be fun just to run these through the embosser and. Um, get some impression there. So I've got a couple. I'm just going to do the rest of these over here, guys. Um, so I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I woke up to a bit of drama this morning, and I got up, and uh, PayPal has uh, put a limitation on my account, which is never a good a good thing when you're You've got bills racking up, and uh, they've got to get paid. <laughs> so I've been trying to sort that out, and you guys know I'm useless with technology. Husband was out the door. He had to get to work, and I'm over here sp spazzing out because um, I'm risking, <clears throat> if I can't get this lifted, I'm going to be overdrawn in my bank account. <laughs> So yeah, not not the, a good way to start the day, but I suppose that's life, isn't it? So I'm hoping that um, what they've asked for, I don't know, it must be to do with all this laundering, you know, all of my thousands of dollars. They must be getting a little bit worried that I'm <coughs> laundering money, ha ha. But I, I don't know, it's just, uh, I suppose they've got to do all this stuff now, but I hope that I've resolved it. <laughs> Anyways, we'll, we won't talk about that anymore. That's not a nice topic for sober early in the morning. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to sit down while I do this. Okay, let's see here. So, I've run those through with my embossing and that I really like that because it's gives it a bit more texture that one probably is a little bit plain but that's okay maybe we can spruce that up a bit um, so I've got some of Tracy's tiny embellishments and I'm gonna play around with those and then hopefully pull out some uh, bits and pieces I've got left over in the scrap pile should have had that up here ready. I 
Now here's a piece. I'm going to put that on that one. That will, I think that'll look nice. Nice there. Um, let's see here. I bet you guys never would have thought you'd need this in your your crafting room. <laughs> My husband's given me that, and he said, "Try that so while you're using the um, the Fabri-Tac." So. So when you guys are watching my videos now, you can just have a visual image of me standing here in that ridiculous mask. <laughs> How funny, but if it works, it works. Um, because I do, I, the Fabri-Tac is a great adhesive, but man, it's just so strong. It's okay in the summer when you can have good ventilation, but when it's a little bit cool, uh, you don't want to open the the window. Yeah, I don't know. I love this little um, this little set from Tracy's shop. These are just so sweet. And I don't know. We'll just play around and see if we can come up with something that's gonna gonna work. It might not need a whole lot. I'd like to um, get my setup where you guys can be. I could be over at the sewing machine because I do like to do that. That's that's not going to work there. Okay, let me think. What could I put on that one? <clears throat> Probably needs some sort of word. I think I saw some words somewhere this morning. I've been, uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, Artie Mays, and this is her flower garden. And I just spotted those this morning. Aren't they beautiful? So I think I might do something. Actually, that would be pretty. Be a little bit big, though. Well, let's just see if I can trim some of this. Um. So yeah, I'm working on, I guess I could give you guys a little sneak peek. Um, oh, this is, let's see. Um, I'm working on Artie Mae's The Flower Garden. And I posted a picture on Instagram yesterday to cover, but I've gotten a little bit farther along. <clears throat> So I'll show you a little sneaky peek. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous kit, and uh, hopefully it won't be too long, and I'll have that up for you guys to see. Um, so here, this is what I'm working on. Let me zoom out so you guys can see a little bit more. Oops, that's far away. There we go. That's how far I've gotten. I've got the signatures in um, with the tabs. This is going to be a massive journal because this is a five signature. So there's a little sneak peek. That's what I'm working on, but I thought I'd just take a bit of time this morning because um, the, the video I did last night I don't like to, to do anything at night because my voice just gets strained so badly by the end of the day. Um, and uh, so, and plus I, I'm not as enthusiastic at night. You could probably tell that in my voice. <laughs> I'm just thinking bed, bed, I need bed. <laughs> So I'm just going to distress this a little bit. Let's see if we can... Yeah, I don't know. I looked at um, the envelopes and I thought, oh, I'm going to have to add a bit more to them, I think. Because um, like I said, sometimes I come back and look at things with fresh eyes. and This is why it's always amazing to me, the ladies who do the tutorials and and everything comes out 
you know, when you've planned one in advance, I guess it's a bit easier, but to just do it um, without a lot of thought, I don't know how they manage to get everything looking so perfect, because I, I tend to have to come back and think, oh, well, it needs that, maybe this, <laughs> but I guess that's uh, natural. Um, and maybe they do that afterwards. We don't know, do we, what goes on after the camera's off. Um, oh, let's see. I've got a little bit of... I've got these tiny eyelets left. I'm getting so low on my um, eyelets from... I have, you know, my the ones you pick up at Hobby Lobby. I'm getting kind of low on those now, so I'm, I'm getting stingier and stingier with them as time goes on because I don't know when I'm going to get any more. Um, so I'll try to use these up. Gosh, they're so fiddly, these little ones. I, I bet my vacuum's full of them because, look at that, when they fall out, and then sometimes you just can't find them, so that's why I'm sure I've probably filled the landfill with uh, eyelets and all sorts of beads and things I've dropped that I couldn't find. <laughs> oh boy, it doesn't want to stay, does it? Let's see if I can get that in there. There we go. And let's see, that is something, doesn't it? How about one of these and maybe a little bit of lace. Oh yeah, I'll show you guys. I've got time now. Um, let me show you. I'll stick this over there. Uh, let me show you guys what I got yesterday. Get this all out of the way. I, I, see, I'm sorry. I This is why I get so distracted. Look at this lace. Look at that. I've never seen anything so delicate. Isn't that fabulous? Beautiful. That's got to be old. See, this is why, I, if anybody knows anything about this, please, um, if you wouldn't mind advising me, because my worry is this, that is so beautiful. And that's got to be old. I don't want to cut these up because I fear that it's probably worth a lot of money, but I don't know. I mean, I I can base on what I've seen, but I got a feeling that that, and this is probably very, very old as well. Can you see that one? I hope the lighting's showing this. That one is the most impressive, but let me just show you guys my find. So, I like this, you know, it's it's kind of heavy stuff, but it's still, the color is beautiful. So, I got that. I got this, look at how delicate. That is beautiful on my, um, the, you know, the fabric postcards. I had some of this a while back, but I've run out. Because you can only get small pieces of this if you find it. And I, I wish I knew the type of lace this was but I don't I don't have that much knowledge so anything you guys can offer on advice please let me know because I don't want to cut into stuff that that I shouldn't be look at that so anyways I go in to um, do my postal run and I try to plan it because I have to pick my husband up at these pieces so delicate um, so I plan it so that I've got a, a little bit of time to have a bras look at that gosh that's beautiful I try to plan it so I've got enough time I can run up through the little thrift stop shops here um, and I'll be honest I don't normally get um, the thrift stores here can be a little bit expensive and I don't know why, or maybe it's just my area, um, but I've never found great deals in them. They seem a little bit high to me. Um, 
but I walked into this one and I had remembered some buttons and goodness knows where did I put them things gosh almighty guys I wanted to show you these buttons I got oh lord I'll have to do that another day who the heck knows I don't know I come in here and I just stuff just goes and I just don't even know where I've gone with it Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. So I knew these buttons were in there. I'd spot them the other day. I thought, oh, I'm going to go back and look at them because they're metal. I've not seen these. They're old metal buttons. So I went back there, and that's when I spotted this, and I said, oh, hey, you know, are you guys, will you negotiate on the price? And she looked at it, and evidently they got a system they can tell. Look at that. They can tell when stuff's a recent. And she said, well, I can't. She said, see, this has just come in. I don't even know what this would have been. Oh, what is that? Is that some sort of sleevey thing? Oh, lordy. Can you imagine? That must have been something like that. Whoa. Didn't even know that. And she said, well, this stuff's just come in. She said, I, you know, if it had been here a while. I said, well, that's okay. Fair enough. I said, I'll take it anyways. And I started pulling it out because there was about eight packs of it. And I got up to the counter. Look at that. I got up to the counter and she said, well, you know, since you're taking all of it, she said, I'll, I'll give it to you for... And she gave me the price and I couldn't believe it. I thought... If I had bought this out of this antiques market I'm going to go to in a couple of weeks, that would have cost me probably four times what I paid for it. I just couldn't believe it. Um, and I told her, I said, well, she said, I wish everybody would come in and, and just buy it. I said, well, I'll tell you, any lace that comes in, if you set it to the side, I'll be in here at least once a week. <laughs> so I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that time. Uh, that she'll hang on to that for me, but, um, gosh, I tell you, what a, oh, I was so happy when I saw that. So anyways, we're back to this. Let's see what we got here, guys. Let's dig out some stuff. This is how stuff just comes. I've got it all in my drawer and I just pull it and it all just comes out here so I've got that I'll sit to the side uh, I was thinking one of these maybe I've had that that's the Hobby Lobby lace I've had that for a while I'm about out of that now I'm going to have to <clears throat> justify a flight to go back and do a Hobby Lobby Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to put a little tag. Let's do something. Okay, let's see here. So these are my little... Um, <clears throat> I know somebody's going to ask me, so I'll just go ahead and tell you guys. This is a... Um, it's a paper tray ink. It's in the U.S., um, and I got the little, see these little tiny tag die, and then you get the little coordinating stuff to go with it, you know, the little, it says like a door wish. I love this set. I've used this so many times, so if you're wondering where I got those, um, and what's nice about this when I've got scraps, I just run it through, and that's another way you can you can use up these little scraps. Um, which, by the way, I need that stamp. I'm going to do a stamp real quick. So, gosh, have I forgotten something? I've started so many stories, and I hope I've completed them, but if not, uh, let's do this one. Just a note. That's a, that's a really cute one to put on. I like how that's come out, actually. And that's taken... Um, that's Artie Mays. 
and then that was some scrap, and then that was the cutoff from one of the digital kits. So let's see if we can get this ink up a little bit, kind of tone it down. I really like making all these little tiny things to go. I um I don't know this this part of it the journal making I really really enjoy I'm just I don't know I'm finding it really hard to find time anymore I don't know if I'm not as efficient as I used to be maybe it's just getting older I just don't know um, here we go which, by the way, I gotta watch. I got the milkman coming this morning. He comes on Tuesday here. Uh, we have, um, I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, we've switched over to raw milk. Now I'm really happy with how this one's come out. Never have quite figured out these. <coughs> Some people, I see them, they've got them hanging this way, and then I'm going to put it that way. So there we go. There's one. I'm happy with that. And just all, really, just scraps. I mean, not that. I would have probably used that. Um, but it's just nice to have little small things. So let's just try to get a few more done. Okay, guys. Uh, sorry, I didn't realize I had been... <clears throat> filming for as long as I had. So here I've went ahead and um, created this one. Same thing, I've just added this little cutout and then a little word and then this I glued it down but I'm going to come back now and stitch it when that's dry because I, I like to have my buttons stitched on. So that's two and then I've started working on this one. And this is using the Flower Girl kit from Artie Mae. So I'm um, just going to add a, a little bit to that. And then I'm going to have to get on because I need to work on my... Let's see, what can we do here? I'm going to do the same thing with an eyelet. I like the look of those. Uh, yeah, i got to get on and, and start working on that journal, but I wanted to do this challenge first thing. And hopefully that's the plan, is to do the, the little video for this each, mo each morning. <laughs> Ooh, it's very intimidating to be committed to something. But, yeah, I've been wanting to do it for a while, and, you know, you just keep putting these things off, but I thought, oh, it's time, it's time to, to just take the plunge, and uh, the good thing about it is it, it does keep you kind of accountable, you've got to do something every day, I think sometimes we need that. bit of twine now. Oh, you know what I just spotted. Let me just get a little piece of this. I just spotted something for that one. I think it, this, this could really benefit with a little bit of yeah, that, that needs that. Here we go. Let me see. Glue, glue, glue. You guys, whew, I've got it everywhere. And only about 1% uh, of them work. I found, thank you all for the advice on the glue, by the way. I should have said that ages ago. Um, the art glitter glue. Uh, I found it, but um, they are out of the one that dries clear, so that's the only reason I haven't ordered it yet, is... I'm trying to find 
someone here that has it for sale that will dry clear rather than the white, which was all I was able to find when I was looking. Because I'm so excited to try that. So many people <coughs> had um, recommended that, so it must be very good glue. Sometimes this uh, embossing will make your cardstock a little bit fragile, so gotta gotta be a little bit more gentle with it once it's been run through that. Okay. So that, I would think, should have caught me up. So tomorrow I can just start, hopefully, with everybody else and be on tra <laughs> track, at least for a couple of days. <laughs> okay, so let's see. There is the last one. That will probably go in the journal, to be honest, because that's, I think that'll be really sweet. This one I'm going to come back with some um, thread because I want that attached. I love that one. That will be beautiful in our nature. Really pleased with those. So thank you guys so much for, um, for your support and for putting up with my um, <clears throat> slow process and rambling because this does not come natural to me whatsoever. Um, so I appreciate you guys being so patient and I hope everybody has a great day and you all get a chance to do something creative and fun. I'll be back soon. Bye.